Even on the last day of the siege of Aleppo, the despicable violence against civilians didn't stop. The sun had barely risen when this ambulance was attacked. In the front, a man has been hit in the head. In the back, children who thought they were about to escape. But the gunman had other ideas. The ambulance abandons its rescue and still the sniper tries to pick them off. We don't know who was shooting, but you can see the effect. A searing portrait of the last hours of this siege, images that should haunt those responsible. Later, thousands gathered as word spread that a ceasefire was holding and mass evacuation was being organised. They'd been targeted for four and a half years, but finally these people were preparing to leave. And as these pictures show, while fighters were among them, most appeared to be civilians, women, children, the injured and the vulnerable, all caught up in the catastrophe of this conflict. Outside, the regime buses were lined up and ready. A solitary vehicle carrying a Red Crescent flag emerged from rebel lines. Terms agreed it was time to end the suffering. The buses threaded their way through the debris to start the evacuation. For two and a half hours, we waited and watched, as did the world, hoping this would not collapse into more fighting as it did yesterday. But smoke billowing from fires set by rebels hinted at a scorched earth policy to deny the regime the use of anything they were leaving behind. It's hard to imagine there was much left to burn. The call to prayer cut through the silence as a tense city held its breath and hoped for peace. Then the first sign, flashing lights, a convoy of ambulances and buses emerging onto Aleppo's ring road. Well, this is the moment the world has been waiting for. The civilians are leaving their enclave, an ignominious defeat for the rebels. But finally, the battle for Aleppo is over. The occupants of the buses came almost face to face with the men who'd sought to kill them, but they were allowed to leave unhindered. And it didn't take long for President Assad's supporters to start their celebrations. I feel very happy. I feel, uh, I feel that uh, this, uh, this victory will uh, continue to all Syria. It's a day of great joy. We were waiting for this day minute by minute. We couldn't believe this day would come. I congratulate all the Syrian people. But after so much bloodshed, this shouldn't have been a day of celebration, rather a time to reflect on why this took so long. Dam Rivers, News at 10, Aleppo.